quick demo here on how to put droppers onto the new bullhead track from Pico. Those of you that are familiar with the Code 75 and Code 100 will know that the bottom rail is a lot, lot slimmer on these. So the easiest way I've found to do it is to cut away the plastic webbing either side, like so. which then allows you to completely slide the sleeper to one side giving you a little bit more room to work so you're less likely to melt the chairs which again being of a finer scale more likely to melt a little bit of flux and pre-tin the track where you're going to put your droppers now we're not quite warm enough for that Hang on. Second, you've got to be very careful you don't put too much warmth there or else, like I say, they will melt on you. I'll be back in a few minutes just to put the dropper wires on. Right, now cut the droppers and I'm just going to pre-tin them so again we get a good quality joint. Where you slid the sleeper away, if you put the dropper so it backs up to the one that's still fixed in place, you should have just about the right spacing to then solder and be able to connect up to the join. slide back up and neatly cover the joint. Just pop this all on. Right, There we have it. Put the two droppers on. Whoops, which I just dropped. And you over to Dave Milford, who'll show the installation of the track with its droppers. Okay. Why are we, why are we adding the droppers, Duncan? Just for uh, the novice modeler. For watching. the novice modeler, it's just to make sure that you've got good electrical continuity on every piece of track. People think that DCC, oh, it's only two wires. Yeah, it's two main wires, but you also need to make sure that you've got good supply to every last piece of track on the layout. Okay, so let's go over to Dave now and uh, see what Dave's up to with the track laying. Okay, we've got the section of track that um, Duncan's fixed the droppers to. I'll show you that in a moment. With the bullhead fish plates, they are tiny and you have to open them out and it's trial and error but this screwdriver which came out of a Christmas cracker seems to be the ideal size so hopefully is that a clear shot there? It's okay. they will now slide into place and 
that's it. And then at the other end, we've got the droppers that were prepared. Again, it's a quite a delicate operation because, as Duncan described, the the surface area that you're fixing the the droppers to is very small. And as I've already found once this evening, it's quite easy to get the droppers to come off the rail. I'm feeding them down to the underside to pick up the main wiring of the layout and there you have it virtually invisible one other point um, with regard to this track in particular uh, even code 75 code 100 on a length of track between fish plates uh, it's often policy to put two two droppers on each section just in case one fails um, because it's once it's ballasted in it's very difficult to get to it so um, as I say it's often policy just to put two in and never rely on fish plates for electrical contact because they tend to corrode Okay, so welcome back. Uh, we've now glued the downline in place to go along with the upline. Uh, Duncan's now fitting the siding in place. So we've put some uh, PVA glue down uh, under the track. So we're going to connect, uh, connect the fish plates up. Uh, we've got a small hole in one of the sleepers just to put, put a driver pin in, just to hold the, uh, the track in alignment. Uh, to start with, so we get a nice, a nice straight run off the point, and then we'll curve it round onto the uh, over the cold dock, cold drop. So just checking, checking the alignment of the uh, the sleepers. Get a nice smooth curve coming out to the uh, the point. Drop the pin in the glue. Yep. <laughs> now it's just popping back in. My glasses are steaming up, and I'm actually trying to put it in the wrong sleeper. <laughs> It's not going to stay in afterwards, so no worries about bending the track in or anything like that. I'm just going to put a temporary piece of track onto this end over where the coal drops will be, just to hold it in place. with these new fish plates it's not the easiest of tasks uh, I don't know if Andy can show you one of the fish plates but they are extremely small they're not anything on the size of just to give you an idea if you were focus there are the fish plates and there's my thumb just as an idea compared to a fish plate, so they are tiny. There. I'm just going to tease that into a very natural curve and then 
wheel. Put a block of foam on top of it to protect the track and put a large weight on which will hold the track in place until it dries. Now if you take a moment to look at our postings you'll find that we've got a nice little teaser for you to look at so we'll see you next week.